Hi guys and welcome to the channel. I'm Marv and this is Readings by Marv Elizabeth M. Tarot. Everything you need is below in the description box for you and your collective. This is going to be your weekly energy reading. Carrying you through the energy of December 31st, 2023 through January 7th, 2024. For the beautiful sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Cancer, please make sure you drop below in the description box and in the pinned comment. For the, for the December 2023 collective readings, there are seven of them, all right? Also, check out your year-end reading that was posted on the channel. Again, everything you need is below in the description box for you and your collective, and I will mention it to you. Please go and follow me over on TikTok for shorter reads. Um, the energy is feeling really good over there, and I can be reached at, or I, you can follow me over there at Marvelous Madame Tarot. This is for Cancer. What do we have for Cancer? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're leading with the Knight of Swords. This is for Cancer. We also have the Moon. This is for Cancer. This is for Cancer. Thank you, Spirits. We also have the Empress. All right. Bottom of the deck representing the past is. The King of Swords. Okay. And then the top of the deck is the Seven of Cups. Cancer, there is an energy around you of a lapse in communication. There is an individual who seems to be very pissed off at you right now. <laughs> uh, they don't want to admit it. They don't want to admit um, the amount of uh, things that you have made them feel. The lapse in judgment, the lapse in communication, they feel like this is a mistake. Um, and they have been very vocal about it. If not to you, because there is space between you and this person, damn show to anybody who would listen about how you left and you're on some BS. You're angry at them. They don't feel like you have a right to be angry. In the hard place, we do have the moon energy they are um delusion disillusioned um they're fearful they have a lot of anxiety their 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 emotions goes up and down one minute they feel this way one minute they feel the next whatever you've done um however you have uh pushed them out of a comfort zone or pushed them into a new reality has really screwed them up cancer um this individual is pissed off because Whatever they were doing, whatever uh, time they were taking, when they decided to waste your damn time, okay, when they decided to waste your time or do whatever they were doing to you, you put the kibosh on all of that. Intuitively, without my clarifiers out here, I'm looking at you finally taking the situation into your own hands. You got tired of the up and down that this person brought to you. And now they're angry. They're angry at your decision, even carrying us into the new year. Maybe you've decided to um, not take their shit anymore. Um, and now this empress energy is here and they're saying that you were my empress. This is what I felt about you. This is how I feel about you. How could you block my new beginning? There was a brand new beginning that I wanted and you were the cause. This is your fault. Cancer, this person is not taking a damn ounce of um, of um, responsibility for this. In the past, they were trying to look at the situation too damn logically. They did not want to admit, and they still do not want to admit that they are the ones that has slowed this connection up. They are the individuals that didn't know what they were doing. They are projecting their anger onto you because you finally got tired of it of it and left them where they stand and that has really pissed them off and they don't like that um but it is nothing that can be done about it there's been a lapse in communication there's been a um, reactive way of communicating rather than a way of communicating um in a way that is going to rectify something they're not interested in doing any more than what they feel like you or or they perceive as being done to them. This person is very vindictive and they're angry. In addition to them feeling like you were the empress, they also feel cancer that they um, 
They want it a new beginning. They want currently a new beginning. There's something very Venusian about you. Um, Empress energy is here. Some of you guys definitely can be, um, have Libra in your chart, Taurus in your chart, very earthy, earth mother. Um, in this particular deck, she is not pregnant. She has had the baby. So um, that this lets me know, the, sim the symbolism of this is letting me know that they know who you are, yet they tried to play games with you anyway. All right. They made you an option and they didn't make you feel like a priority. They did not prioritize you the way that you were supposed to be prioritized, yet they're angry with you about what they made you do. You understand what I'm saying? Um, let's go ahead and get into the clarifiers. One clarifier for the entire deck. Why are these cards here for our cancer spirit? Why? Give me information about this spread. Seven of cups at the top of the deck. Yeah, they didn't prioritize you. They always made you feel like an option. I have other options. Yet now that you walked away, now you're a priority. Ace of swords. Yeah, you're a priority because they came. Your actions prompted them into awareness. Judgment. Thank you, spirit. What else do we have? So your, your, your actions prompted them into awareness. Knight of wands. They came into a brand new truth and revelation. They came and they're being judged for what they did. And this was what they never took responsibility for. So how can you take responsibility for something if you're never wrong? You just walk around reacting off me and every little thing that happens between us is never your fault. You just, you know, you're reactive and you don't do no more. Everything is cancer's fault. And no, cancer, you got tired of that. Top of the deck is the Queen of Wands. You walk into what is not only passionate that you're passionate about, but this person can't get enough of you. And then also, yeah, to the Eight of, to the eight of Pentacles. Um, in the past, they were consumed with work, chasing money. Um, but I don't feel like that's what this is entirely in its entirety, okay? I do know you are coming up for them as the queen of wands and they're going through a huge judgment right now let's go back to the main energy here top of the deck is justice that remains so there's a lot of major arcana here and there's a lot going on with this person what's our past the king of wands so they're now coming into their king of wands energy all right i got one more all right i got one more i just wanted to go um, in the past. And then the queen of wands is in our clarifying deck. That's clarifying this entire spread. That lets me know that there's a disconnect right here because you were the queen of wands and, and, and that's what's clarifying this energy. So you are the queen of wands. You are the creator. You are the manifester here. You are the individual who gave into a connection that did not give to you. You were the one that put this in there. You, you were the one that started this. And now what they what they are now is what you who you were and this is what they don't understand they went through their judgment and right now they're in an energy and they're not happy about it what remains is the moon justice and the empress this individual is now where you were they wh where you once were is now where they are spirit is giving you your justice back for wasting your time now, rather than being with an individual who didn't know what they wanted, you're going to be more going into a new beginning with an individual who knows who you are. Newness is coming in and you will be birthing something new, whether that is pleasure, whether that is abundance, whatever it is, cancer is yours. Justice is here. And wherever you've been wronged in the past, spirit is here to right those wrongs. Again, um, where you were, where you once were is where they are now. Like, share, and subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. Everything you need is below in the description box for you and your collective. Thanks you, thank you so much for lending me your ear. And if you're interested in shorter reads, please go and follow and like the platform over there on TikTok at Marvelous Madame Tarot. And I'll see you next week when we do it again. Bye, Cancer.